the Park University versus University of St. Mary match here. Um, we've already gotten into the banning and picking phase, so so far uh, St. Mary has banned out Kha'Zix, Blitzcrank, and Warwick, which are all picks that Park has favored in the past. And St. Mary has, sorry, uh, Park has banned out Kaisa, Zin, and Thresh with a Ari pick for St. Mary, a Malphite pick for Park, and a Leona pick for Park now. And it looks like there's going to be a Lucian coming out for St. Mary. Yep, and from what we can say here, so from the past, the, the last game last week um, went went actually pretty well for Park. Fortunately, it just wasn't, wasn't the win that we were looking for. But that second matchup was definitely something that I think brought in good spirits and gave a lot of good ideas of how they're going to play their next opponent. And so I'm curious about how this match is actually going to go. Ooh, Ezreal. Yeah, this, this should be a fun game. Yeah, an Ezreal pickup from Park. So Ezreal's kind of... Uh, I, I know, I know uh, Park has, has practiced a little bit with Ezreal, had some success with him. And a Nautilus pickup from St. Mary. Never look Which back. Nautilus will probably... Looks like Nautilus support from the, from the Summoner's. Oh man, I'm still getting used to this whole streaming from YouTube thing. There, there was an extra step I needed to take for it to go completely live, at least for their end. So I think things are just going to catch up for them. Um, so sorry about that, everybody. If if you're a little bit late now coming in. All right, and a Zareth ban coming out from Saint Mary. The uh, no park picked, picked Zareth twice last week, so Fear that might be probably them. targeted. Towards the mid yeah, most likely. I agree. Jace and a cane ban from Park, and then a Vigar from St. Mary. Oh, Vigar. I, I, Vigar is probably one of my favorite characters simply because of his abilities to just destroy other ability power characters, and that's, that's sad to see him go, but probably a good idea. <laughs> And a Pantheon, probably for the top lane from St. Mary. And they are going to pick probably their jungler. All right. And an Urgot coming out there from St. All right. And then Park still needs to pick a mid laner. Or. Unless that, yeah. So Kindred's probably gonna go jungle and a Lissandra mid. Never mind. I, I, yeah. So, all right. So there's going to be a short delay here. Yeah, uh, about uh about two and a half minutes. And a minute. No, three minutes. Sorry. And then we have an extra two minute delay for the stream itself. Um, so once, once that, uh, delay is over, we'll finally actually get into the game and then we'll be able to, uh, talk a little bit about how the game is played, a uh, little bit about the characters from each side, if we can see, uh, see what the next plays are going to be from there. Um, so yeah, uh, anything else to add, Vince? That should be an exciting game. Go Pirates. Go Pirates. Also, uh, actually, a quick shout out here for uh, Mike Walker. Thank you very much for subscribing to the Park Athletics YouTube channel.
Oh, and uh, just before we actually get started here with one minute and 50 seconds left in the spectator delay, uh, we want to actually give a shout out to the St. Mary people who are joining us today in the stream for our little rival rivalry that we have going on here. Which, uh, if any of you guys are in the chat, feel free to subscribe to Park University's Athletics YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, thanks for uh, showing up. Yeah, thank you for showing up, and thank you for being here for both the support of your university and just kind of witnessing uh, what I think is going to be potentially a great game. All right, back over to the music. Okay, so as a quick note for everybody here, uh, <laughs> my screen is a little bit uh, off center here, um, and that is because I'm running a crazy monitor at home that uh, really, it's very big, so it's it's only capturing in like a bit of the corner there. I'm going to move it over to a proper screen here in just a moment, but I can only change that setting once we're actually in the game. So please hang on tight. Thank you. Summoner's Rift.
30 seconds until minions spawn. Alrighty, now we're <laughs> finally in the match. <laughs> Uh, sorry about that, everybody. It's it's the problem with having a, a monitor like this. It gets uh it gets really weird. Um, I'll, I'll also adjust it here as we go. But uh, currently we're now in game here with uh, Park up on the red team up top, and then Blue on the bottom here. And uh, Vince, would you like to do a little bit of the introductions of the game, or would you like me to go off on it? Uh, you had something prepared, didn't you? I, I, I did. I did. It's not, like, fully finished, but it's definitely a good uh, starting point. So, for those of you who are uh, new to League of Legends, um, or those who just need a refresher, uh, League of Legends is a multiplayer online battle arena, or MOBA. In League of Legends, players control a champion, each with their own set of abilities, strengths, weaknesses, and uh, various other items that they can grab. It's a 5 versus 5 in this particular game mode, and the goal is to destroy the enemy team's opposing nexus, which you can see right up here. Uh, Park's red is a red team, so they have a red nexus, and that's this structure here with the big diamond. Same thing with blue team. And then on each uh, each oh, side are lanes. Hold on here in the bot oh. lane. Looks like the Pantheon came in here for a gank. And oh, yeah. First blood. That is uh, a really interesting push. And they managed to get that first blood. That is very impressive. I did not expect them to actually get that early of a push. Yeah, that uh, Pantheon jungle at level two uh, managed to get that. Yeah, really, really interesting here in Pantheon. Oh, they're collapsing on the Pantheon the river, but I don't think they'll be able to change it. I'm not sure they'll be able to do enough damage against him. Yeah, he, he used up his flash, but... Uh... That's, uh, that's all they'll be able to do. Take half his health and get rid of that flash. So it looks like Leona's going to be... Oh, nope. There's her partner. Pantheon's Ezra. caught the kindred yeah. there in the jungle. Already an action-packed game so far. Yeah, really. Starting off really strong here. So Sandra gets pulled in by the Nautilus. And will go down. Already flashes and ignites, but... Probably won't manage to get the kill on the <laughs> I think you're actually like five seconds ahead of me. Oh boy. Well, that's such is the the reason of um, of what's happening here. So for those of you who do not know, up here in Kansas City, we had a fairly uh, heavy snowstorm. Uh, so much to where the roads are pretty bad to uh, head down to the campus itself. So we're all we're all doing this from home today. Um, and so there is a little bit of uh, internet delay going on here, and I'm streaming currently from my own PC. So. Ezreal see. is getting jumped again. Yep, really. That's a, that's a rough lane. Ezreal is really hard to play from behind, so he's going to have to really. He's, he's just going to really have to play his distance there and uh, make sure to watch out for that push from Pantheon, because that's the second time now that he was able to just sneak on in and take him out. So, right, I, I interrupted you earlier. Uh, you want to continue your explanation of kind of what League is for those who, you know, are new to the game? Ah, oh, right. So, um, I was just explaining the, uh, the Nexus structures, which is what each team needs to destroy. Um, and in which case, for each lane, each lane has defensive structures known as towers. And these towers protect those lanes. They have a set of armor that, uh, once broken down, will finally get the tower to fall. And then allowing these, uh, well, these little guys are called minions, and they'll be uh, they'll be pushing on each uh, each lane here, and they actually spawn from uh, the from the nexus point itself, and just kind of go along here to their to their dooms. Think of them kind of like lemmings, you know. I know it's really evil to say, but it's kind of what they are. They're cannon fodder. Oh, Malphite. Just about to get away. Oh, and the Pantheon Spear lands its mark right there on his back. And Pantheon's getting a lot of work done. He's roaming around a lot. Yeah, he's he's, he's really their uh, their kind of star right now for for everything. He's, he's missing out on a lot of uh, on a lot of like jungle farm, but I think he's making up for it with. Him. He is, and usually I don't see Pantheon really going jungle nowadays, so this was uh, really interesting to see. 
It's, it's not a very common pick, but I, I've seen it before. And it looks like uh, Park is actually making some headway down in bot lane. They're, again, going to have to be careful of that Pantheon, which looks like he's uh, making his way over. Going to get spotted by the ward, though, so hopefully they'll they'll know he's coming. Looks like the Pantheon's going for an invade. Oh, yep. Going to meet up with Kindred here. They're going to spot each other. Going to run him down. See if he can get away. Mm. Just barely. Just, Just barely. barely. My Sorry. God. Oh, and the rest of Park's team is here to uh, do a little team fight against Nautilus and Pantheon. Leona getting caught there. She did the best that she could, but now we got uh, four of St. Mary's champions here invading in the jungle. And it uh, looks like they're just going to go back to their to their well, lanes. They're, oh! They're heading down to take the dragon. Yeah, they are going to hit dragon. Now that they have a little bit of advantage, it's up to Park. Can't really Park. Contest that dragon right now. Not really. The best they could do is maybe steal it, but it's not really feasible. Not with the Ezreal at level 4. So, yeah, it's going to be an easy take. And let's see. There's a Cloud Drake. What does the Cloud Drake do? The Cloud Drake gives them a little bit of movement speed and... It, it's, uh, I think, level one Cloud Drake. It's when it, the out of combat, it's 9%. Yeah, it's about 3% movement speed, and then it's tripled when you're out of combat. Well, it's not, it's it's tripled out of, yeah, it's 3% when you're in combat. Ah, oh, right, yeah. So things are quieting down a little bit. Yeah. There is a bit of a skirmish in the top lane going down, though, and... and Looks like Malphite will go down. My Rudad goodness. is probably one of the strongest laners uh, in the top lane. Oh, and you He's probably kind of didn't see, again. but uh, Kindred invaded their jungle for a little bit. And looks like uh, taking care of some wards inside jungle, which is exactly what they need. And the Pantheon. Pantheon will roam bot again. He's really making their life hell down there. Yeah. Having a jungler constantly... Well, he's not even really camping bot lane, but he's hes hitting it hard, constantly taking yeah, out their blue. They're only seeing the top left of the screen on the screen. Oh, they are. My goodness. That is a my bad. Uh, let's see here if I can get that fixed for you guys. Oh, I know how. Give me a moment, everybody. Eh. Apparently the uh, software didn't resize the screen when I moved it. So, there we go. Sorry about that. That should do it. Probably go ahead and bring up scoreboard as well. Get rid of time controls. Okay. Wow. All right. So, the so something else that you want to kind of look for on the scoreboard there is you see those yellow numbers next to the icons for each champion. That's the number of minion kills they have, and that is a good indicator of how much money they have. And the more money they have, the more items they can buy, which the more effective they'll be. With. Which right now, St. Mary has about a 4k gold, which isn't the biggest, but it's a, this early in the game, it's it's fairly significant. Oh, Pantheon's gonna jump down bot lane again. Do some massive Look. damage to Ezreal, but Leona, using her body to block a majority of those shots from Lucian. That was very good teamwork there. Oh. Illusion oh. just barely manages to pick it up. Pantheon's up there. Might go down, and Pantheon goes down. Gets that shutdown. Finally. <laughs> Leona's running away. Yep. Oh, I'm surprised they managed to all get away there. Wow. Yeah. Kendrid was able to flash over the wall. Leona is just too quick. That's, uh, yeah. That was, <laughs> that was, that a, was good a good fight. Pick up there. Yeah. So, 
when a champion gets really far ahead, they end up getting a bounty put on their head. And if you can shut them down, you get a huge chunk of gold. So that will definitely help uh, catch Park back. Although their bottom tower is taking a lot of hit. Yeah, in fact, uh, we'll probably go down in the next few minion waves if uh, if things keep up as they were with Pantheon constantly ambushing them from bot lane. All right, well, things have s just settled down just a little bit here. Yeah, I know. It's hard Although, to catch our breath here. There, there's yeah, a lot that's happening. There is some posturing going on in the river up top, though. Yeah, I see that with the Scuttlebug down, which uh, provides a movement speed once killed, as well as some health. And Urgot was able to uh, pick that up while Pantheon was able to grab the uh, Golem there in the corner. We're going to see if he's actually going to take the play here to jump on Malphite. Like he goes in under the tower, manages to get the stun. But I Ooh. think he's going to back off because you really don't want to dive under tower. No. Especially this early. Although he is sticking around, he might want to go for Yeah, Kindred is close, so it's going to require a little bit of uh, yeah, notification here about your teammate. And yeah. looks like St. Mary's going to back off. Yep, now that Kindred's here, do some more damage. Oh, and they're going to dive. And the Urgot uses his ult to pull that Malphite in. Oh boy, what a nasty ulti. And Pantheon chases down the Kindred up the top. Yep, we also saw uh, Nautilus taking down Leona there. So, looks like bot lane definitely has a kill advantage and some money advantage thanks to the Pantheon from earlier. So, that's going to be a tough fight. Lucian is one of the, is probably a carry with one of the strongest laning phases, and he's definitely taking full advantage of it. Malphite is teleporting back to the top lane. One. Yeah, Pantheon is still showing up in top lane, which is interesting, but. We're going to see if uh, if any more team plays happen, because now both uh, St. Saint, Saint Mary's kind of pushing on everyone's first tower. And bot tower is going to go down. I think the, the plan up top is to just kind of chunk down the Malphite and get him into range for the Urgot to just kind of pull him in with his hook. And get... Urgot's ultimate is... Uh, well, I get... He launches out a hook, and if they're below a certain percentage of health, then he gets the next game. Which, they go over the tower, managed to pick up there, but the Pantheon was killed by the tower. And looks like there's some people setting up in the mid, mid lane. Going on the Lissandra, and who uses her ult to kind of keep them from diving here. The thing about diving is when you dive underneath that tower, you have to get the kill and get out as fast as you can. So anything right. you can do to stall that gives you a huge... And St. Mary is going to reset, buy some items, and then come back with full health. Yeah, de definitely the smart thing to do after uh, being in battle for so long. They definitely do have a gold advantage of... Uh, about 10,000 more. But, uh, Park Park's... is going for the next dragon here. Yeah. Looks like they should get a kill on it. Pantheon tried to run in and get the steal, but... The sh nah, he's too slow. And it's going to cost him his life. Well done from Park there to be able to both get the dragon and shut down Pantheon. Although it wasn't, you know, an actual bounty shutdown. But still, he, he needs to be put in his place for a little bit, I think. He definitely right. has had a lead. And they're going to push down this mid tower here. If not this way, then the next wave. And Park's going to kind of assemble behind it, try and protect the tower. Yep, we might actually see our uh, first full team fight now that everybody has ultis. 
at uh, level 6 is generally when uh, champions all get them. And everyone's kind of sitting around uh, between, let's see, the lowest one on Parkside is 7. And then the lowest one on St. Mary's looks to be 8. And the tower will go down. And they're going to chase down this Lissandra. Let's see, is that Lissandra? Is she going to escape? Looks like she is, but they're Just going about. for the tier 2 now. Yeah. They're going to try to take down that second tower, which will be uh, a good advantage for them. Pantheon. Pantheon dives in underneath the tower. Yep, able to take out Lissandra there, but uh, they were able to save their tower. We also have Urgot in bot lane making a push as well, which Park is going to need to respond to. And he's going to back off right now. He uses his ultimate in the mid lane to try and defend the tower. Oh, boy. Was managed. Oh, almost got away from there, but Ignite was just enough to, uh, to take him out. Yep, there Ergot's goes. The chasing the Leona to the bot jungle. Oh boy, Leona, get out of there, girl. This Nautilus comes in, gets the hook. Yep, she's. I'm hoping was using that to uh, to get underneath tower. Ezreal's there to help using his ulti, and I think that's gonna be enough to back him off. Yeah, Leona is does have a lot of health, so she's kind of hard to. All right, so now we have a three-man push there in bot lane. Um, they weren't. That was weird. They saw they saw an Nautilus teleporting, but they didn't really try to hit him. I'm not it sure why. Prob it, it probably wasn't worth it to try and uh, get to engage He's too tanky on that. And, uh, they may not have enough damage to get him down in the first place. And uh, extending a fight like that could be. That's true. They don't really have a whole lot of health items, but it looks like, oh, we see St. Mary really gathering here in the bot lane. And Park is just short of uh, two people here to really do a, uh, you know, a team fight, which, uh, yeah, they're at a disadvantage. So I think they're going to back off for right now, which is a good idea. Get some items, strengthen themselves a little bit. And the Leona's going to get caught out in the jungle. Oh. Yes, kinda she got a dead will. Ball going right now. Yep, and that's just something you're just gonna want to stay away from for a little bit. You know, when they're all grouped up like that, the only place you really want to fight them is under tower. And St. Mary's is gonna be looking to catch people out one by one, and they're going to use the Rift Herald here on the. So the Rift Herald is another monster that spawns, and if you kill him, you can. He drops an item which you can use to summon him again to push down. Ooh, Lucian taking out Lissandra. Malphite goes in, tries to get in the middle of everything. Gets taken down. Leona falls quick succession. Yeah, Malphite simply just not have enough health for that big team fight. And Ur Ooh. Urox here is going to possibly get a triple here. Park had a decent initiation there, but just did not have the damage to follow. Yeah, up. they did not. And that's just due from the uh, the early game that St. Mary had here, which looks like it's going to be a win for uh, for St. Mary as they're really pushing in for home. Yep, they're going for the win. They are not going to let this play out very much longer. Park's going to try and do everything they can, just throw bodies at it until... Yep. St. Mary's goes Keep away. Fighting. They might. They just barely managed to hold them up. Oh wow, that is 629 health on that Nexus. It's it's barely holding on. So they really need to, to strengthen. Really, they got to really watch it, and make sure people don't try and sneak in and get it down. But now they're also going to have to deal with super minions coming down the mid lane. That's true. So it's just now going to be a matter of uh, complete defense. And another Cloud Drake. Is this just a common thing where it's just the one dragon type every time? Yeah, there's four dragon types, and as far as I know, they're all random. So. Yeah, I, I thought they were random too, but I could be wrong. 
they happen to be a triple cloud drake. We also saw that in the uh, two weeks ago against uh, against Culver, um, to where it was uh, Fire Drake every time. So interesting. Yeah. So Park right now is probably just going to try and sit back, wait for their inhibitor to respond, and try and do whatever they can to just make the game go a little bit longer so they can get as many items. As but it's going to be a, a rough uphill battle for them. Do you think uh, St. Mary here is going to try to take Baron soon? That would Might probably be, a little be too the early. smart choice. Oh, yep, and it looks like they're actually going to gather for it, taking out the ward that's stationed there. So Park should know that they're about to do a Baron play, and it's going to be up to, I think, Ezreal the most to try to take the take the kill. Yeah, but... They've... Might try to use the Ezreal to snipe it, but there's really nothing else that they can. Yeah, do. there's no vision. That's up to Lissandra here to do. All right, Lissandra Urgot put is... down a ward. Urgot trying to kill this red, which is just gathering health. Yeah, well, no I think point. he's up there to patrol and make sure that nobody gets in his steep. Yeah, which they're gonna find Ari up there as well, and looks like they're about to get it. And did get the bolt off with the, quite the right timing, which that's a really hard thing to do. It is, especially when you really can't see how much health he has, and you either need a body there or a ward, which they easily took out after it was placed. Lucian activating his ult and going after the Ezreal, taking him out. Pantheon. Pantheon Ooh, a beautiful flash by Pantheon, actually, but there he was able to get taken out there. Big team fight happening. So many abilities going off. And St. Mary there will win. They will take, take that home. One. That was quite the bang to go off of. Wow. Alrighty. Well, hopefully my in-game settings stay the same and I'm able to, uh, you know, not have to finagle anything further. Um, it's the problem with uh, just doing a home setup. Alrighty, well, that was that was our first round up, so we're actually going to go into a kind of 10-minute break as uh, both the teams talk a little bit about their strategies and stuff and get ready for the next matchup. Um, so anything we want to discuss here, Vince? Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask them in the chat, and we'll be watching that. Yep. And... Uh... Yeah, for right All now, right. we'll just kind of go in muted mode here, and uh, we'll wait for your questions. Yeah, thanks for watching, and the next game will be in about 10 minutes. Go Pirates. Go Pirates.
Alrighty guys, and just to let you all know, I'm actually going to mute the desktop audio for a moment as I need to hop into their Discord <laughs> and uh, receive the invite for the next matchup, so be right back.
Alrighty, so we received actually the invite link, so we'll be starting up here very shortly. They, uh, they're just making sure everyone's good to go. We're getting back into game two, the picking and banning. Who do you think uh, we'll see banned and pick this? Yeah, I would definitely agree. And that Kaisa ban came on, coming out again, just like last. And the Kha'Zix ban, just like they banned last game from St. Mary, as well as the Blitzkrank. Yeah, I know Park support has an affinity for Blitzkrank, so it's probably targeted at our support. And then the Urgot ban as well. Urgot is probably a good ban just because that top lane was really rough. Well, we'll see. You never know what could happen. And a Warwick ban from St. This time St. Mary will be on the red side. They're switching position. Yep. Probably their top laner. But Garen is he he kinda just lives forever. It's kinda hard he's kinda hard to take out in lane, so Yeah, Air Ari is a very strong mid laner right now. She's unless you have something that can deal with her, she's pain. Uh, I, th I think Vigar isn't mobile enough to handle. You called it. And another Nautilus pickup from St. Mary. Yeah, St. Mary's kind of sticking with the same plan they had last time, it looks like. And a Zoe for Park. So, I know uh, Park's mid laner loves Zoe, but she's kind of hard to, uh, she's kind of situational, so we'll see how, if he manages to Leona ban. They're really going after the support bans here. Trying to do whatever they can to keep those supports out, which supports have a lot of CC. 
But the thing is, is, uh, is the Morgana pickup though? That's, that's. I'd assume that's a support. So maybe they're thinking and Morgana will go to a different. Let me get in there. Yes. The weak fear yeah. the shadows. I, fear from what I understand, USM's jungler plays a lot of Zins, so. And a cane ban as well. And we're just waiting here for the next pick. And Nocturne. So Nocturne's kind of spooky in more ways than one. Uh, his ultimate will make everybody nearsighted so they can only see kind of their vision and not their team's vision. And uh, can jump from what seems like across the map, although it's not really across the map. And he's, he's a really uh, dangerous jungler, so you need to watch out for him. And a Jinx pickup from Park, which I think, yeah, I think, I think, uh, Parks ADC plays a lot of Jinx, and so that's that's a good that's a good pickup. And another Kindred again. Yeah, that's a. Yeah, I think they do. All right, so we're going to wait for the delay here, and we'll see you guys here in just a few minutes. Go Pirates! And apparently, I, I pressed the wrong key, and it muted me. So my explanations were, were definitely not there. I'm so sorry, everybody. Oh, boy. Again, getting, getting used to streaming from home. Thank you, guys.
All right, we're loading into the game here. And, uh, Shala, are you... Yeah, yes. Yes, I'm, I am back <laughs> All right. So, uh, Park University would like to announce that we are looking for new casters after Shiloh will be fired <laughs> for leaving his mic off last year. Yeah, yeah, so, that uh, was, uh, mm -hmm. Please, please Woo. send me your, any applications you would like to send, and uh, we'll be looking forward. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, that All was, right. uh, that was interesting. All right. So. Okay, so... What is uh, we're Saint loading Mary it now, here? and St. Mary looks like they're trying to get a little bit spicy here. Going into the bottom lane in the trap. All five of them at once. Oh, man, this could get hairy. Yeah, I think they're trying to capture uh, anyone who's in uh, bot lane off guard. Oh, they're on they're like, the move. Ooh, they, for a, they could have spotted one. the jinx that was right in the grass there. Oh, Oh, oh this is so sneaky. And they're going to go hide. Oh. Oh, man. This, this is, is... This played out way too well for them. Oh, Park. they're going to go up here. Oh, oh Park's going to see him. scouted. And yep. both flashes coming out. Morgana and trying to do a Morgana snare. got picked off there by yeah. the knock. Hey, I think it, this time we're in sync, so this is good. <laughs> And they're probably gonna steal Park's red buff now. Oh man, I can see pings coming out from Park just all over that bottom side of the Yeah, I'm just telling everybody to watch out. They're they're still roaming around here. And we're gonna and... see Jinx here at the bottom lane all by her lonesome. And Garen's gonna be fighting uh Oh. All right, no, never mind. I saw, I thought I saw Darius coming in to the to grab blue as well. I was like, oh, that cheeky bugger. How dare he go up there? Oh, Zoe, just managing to get away there in mid lane, and then we have uh, Morgana and Jinx are now back together again in the bottom lane. And Nocturne is already roaming very early, and trying to steal the scuttle here. And who got it? Looks like Part got it. Yeah, I think Park got that that scuttle right there. It doesn't really give much notification on it. Well, if it's blue, then it's the blue side, and if it's red, it's the red side. Oh, really? Okay, I actually did not notice that. Alrighty. So, the Nocturne is starting blue this time instead of red, as he probably would have preferred. But you can't really take your red when it gets stolen like that. Oh, Nautilus did kind of a early dive there, but Morgana was able to uh, stop him from advancing any further on it. And it uh, looks like ward placements are kind of uh, even on both sides. Uh, never mind about that. All right, one of them just died. So in which case, Park has a few wards for top lane there with uh, Garen and Darius at the top. And then a bottom lane, uh, there's only like one ward watching for, for jungle plays. So yeah, that... The hopefully, I think what Park's hoping for here is that the Morgana will offer them some protection from those dives because her Q gives her uh, is a root that lasts for a really long time. When they're rooted, they can't move. That's probably what they're hoping for here, just to kind of stay up during the early game. Right. And let's see, Garen has actually got pushed in quite a bit at the top lane there. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens. And Nocturne taking the Southern Scuttle. He may be trying to make a play off of that with that move speed. Possibly. Uh, no, he'll just go back and take his, his blue buff. Now, you can see when somebody's activated it, right? If you're on the opposing team. Seeing that kind of wave of the orb go across the map there so you can see if you've been spotted or not. I'm not sure. So, so that one more time, sorry. So, so the uh, the little vision orb that's currently in jungle, if an opposing team hits it, are you able to see that wave that goes across? So you know you've been yeah. spotted. Whoever whoever hits it, they see anything that's in that. Right. I'm so. just curious if you see the effect on the map. Yes, they do see the effect on the map. Oh, okay. So. All right. People are just kind of settling into their lanes, trying to get last hits, trying to get gold, and trying to stay alive. 
Zoe is just such an interesting character. She, she's got a lot of damage potential, but I, I just don't understand her fully yet. She's she's crazy. Her her whole thing seems to be about is about skill shots, and she has a bubble, and if she hits you with the bubble, I think it's called the trouble bubble. Uh, you get slept for a really long time, and her Q can be redirected, and that they're gonna go on the Ari there. Got her with the bubble, and ooh, very nice. They managed to get the pick off on the Ari there. Good roam from the Kindred. Nocturne is going through the river though. Might yeah. Be trying to duel, standing that. And he will get discovered. Nocturne fears him. Ooh, but Zoe getting the bubble off, or the little stun there. Kindred's oh, gonna see if she can finish Darius off. Just oh. barely blocking that from the Zoe. And Kindred will go down. Ooh, Zoe trying to take a uh, take Nocturne there for a minute, but uh, unable to do so. It was a good try. But yeah. It wasn't able to really make it. So the way uh, you can see from Zoe, she has like like this little ball that comes out from her, and then it'll go bounce in the direction. When you cast the ability, you cast it twice, and so the first one kind of runs away. You can run it whatever direction you want, and then redirect it. And then her ultimate allows her to teleport a short distance and then teleport back. So you can use that to try and pick somebody off. Man, this is such a more tame fight than it was, you know, last round. Last round, it was crazy all over the place, almost nonstop action. Now it's uh, a little bit more and refreshing, not... you know? <laughs> the the last game, they their Pantheon was roaming from level two and trying to get ganks, but Nocturne isn't really that effective until he hits level six. Right. So once that Nocturne hits level six, you're gonna see him trying to make... Yeah, things will essentially get turned up to 11. Yeah. And Park has a very defensive top lane right now, so... Well, I may stand to be corrected right as I was about to say you wouldn't see much happen. Uh, Darius manages to get a pick off on the gear and up top. Oh, I just went into my menu settings to lower down the master volume a little bit. <laughs> Realized how loud it really was. And Nocturne is going for that Infernal Drake. Or the Infernal Drake. The Infernal Drake gives you a damage bonus, so that'll be a good pickup for his team. And I don't think they're, I don't think Park's gonna see it. No, no, they have no wards nearby in order to see that happening. And look at the pickup there. Oh, Garen's now teleporting over to top lane as his tower's taken significant damage, actually. Gonna try and clear the wave. And looks like St. Mary will be resetting their bot. Trying to buy some items and get a, an advantage in lane before they come. Think about when you when you teleport back in lane like that, you lose a little bit of experience, but you can spend your gold to get items. It's kind of a, a trade-off as far as lane advantage goes. I see some pings on the Zoe here from St. Mary. I wonder if they're going to try and go for her... That would be a good target for the Nocturne, because she doesn't have very much health. And Nocturne kind of is very bursty, so if you try and hit somebody who's tanky, they may not have as much success. But somebody like Zoe, who's not got a Ooh, lot of health, but Nocturne, is a very good target. Nocturne actually just spotted Kindred, and Nocturne has his ulti. Yup, here it comes. Kindred using the Blast, I think, is actually on his, his decision there. But yeah, it wasn't much. He was trying to get that Nocturne to Blast away over the wall, which would have been a tremendous play. And now Nocturne's going to try to help the Darius over here in taking out this Garen. Try to get himself underneath tower. Yeah. He's going to spin away. And bot lane's now getting pushed uh, quite hard. And Nautilus is going to do a little bit of scouting, I guess, up in the jungle here. Probably trying to get some advanced wards. Yep. So that way he can spot the kindred again. It's very important for the junglers to know where they where their opponent is. So the, the fighting in the jungle is kind of a 
it's more of a strategy focus. Early, you have to kind of know where your jungler is, what they're going for, and Kindred. Nocturne there. Nice. Go, Kindred's going in. Shut down the Nocturne. It's a very good play by Kindred there, because Zoe did significant amounts of damage there on that Nocturne, and Garen was there to just kind of eat up a quick charm from Ari, but they couldn't really do much there. So good, good pick up there. And yeah, now this fight, fight, this fight is at least this round is looking a lot more, a whole lot better for Park. They're playing a lot better than they did in the last round. And Jinx. We got the gank on Jinx in the bot lane. Didn't quite get the root out in <laughs> Kendred stealing some golems up here. Oh, and... gonna get spotted by Darius. Who Darius has a good chunk of health. Not sure if Kindred's able to uh, do enough damage here. Oh, but Garen's coming over for the support. I don't think they'll be able to kill him, but they'll at least get some good, some good damage on to make yeah. it easier for Garen to stay alive in lane. Tr traded some blows in there. Now, what Bot they really is looking a little scary down here. Yeah, it's a, it's a little rough down here, and I think uh, I think Kindred needs to uh, help him out. But Nocturne is kind of close. And Nocturne by. is looking for for food. He's feeding. You know, got to get that yummy gold somehow. Exactly. But so far, hasn't quite found what he's looking for. I don't. Although well, there is a kindred he can see. Yeah, that is a kindred. They they are quite tasty, I think. Which uh, Jinx and Morgana are moving up on this Nautilus, which Nocturne <laughs> dives onto Morgana. And Morgana flashed onto Tower to get away. Fortunately, Jinx was uh, just not fortunate to be in the right place there. And kindred, I think, knows where this Nocturne is. And he's going to walk up on him. That's a, that's a little bit scarier. And Kindred uses his ultimate. He can't take damage, I don't think, while his ultimate's up. Right, but uh wasn't quite enough against, you know, three other champions, which I think they're going to now try to do a full push for bot lane and take down the, the first tower. Or at least try and get some good damage on to Yeah. It's they're... got a lot of health when it's this early in the game. It's, it's got armor. Yep, Jinx just used her ulti there to deal some nice splash damage on Nautilus and Nocturne. Just and trying to scare him off. Yeah, just kind of be like, yeah, back off, please. That'd be nice. <laughs> I think Andy tried to get that bubble off, but couldn't quite manage. And oh. bot lane is resetting once again. Yep, and we actually have a new dragon up, one that I don't think we've actually seen before. It's a so green dragon. Ocean Drake. Ocean so Drake, the Ocean huh? Drake gives them uh, health and mana reading. So that's that's a very nice dragon to have. I mean, all the dragons are nice to have, to be honest. Oh yeah, they're they're all worth it if uh, if you had if the you can advantage. Take them. Exactly. My goodness, Zoe's just all over the place. She's insane. I just, I'm watching her, like, teleport in through things and then throwing bubbles from, like, 20 feet behind her. That's how Zoe does. That's how she does. Turret plating will fall soon. Oh, that's right. So that's where the armor uh, significantly drops off on the towers when the game has gone on for for about 15 minutes? Or is it 14? Oh, Nocturne. Oh, Nocturne is going to go on this Annie here. Annie uses Barrier, which is her summoner spell, and... Actually, all uh, doesn't even lose. Kindred here is trying to chase. It looks like may try and go on. So that see that swirl above the Ari I meant that the Ari was marked, which is I don't I don't know exactly how Kindred works, but I know that's significant too. Yeah, um, I mean, I'll be honest with you, I don't really know exactly on how how Kindred works um, in terms of. Even just the little wolf thing that she has. Which I think you can control left click to have it go attack on its own. Or if it's oh, say, just okay, so if you if you kill a marked target, your abilities become Ah, okay, I see. So you always want to kill your marks. The uh, bot lane for Park though is still looking really rough. 
Yeah, they're they're holding for as long as they possibly can, but yeah, it's certainly looking a little bit rough down there. And they're they're probably going to lose tower. Yeah, definitely. If you look in the mid lane though, the Annie ha is up one kill on the Ari and CS. She has more minion kill. Yeah, she is doing incredibly well right now. Uh talking about the characters as, you know, when not not the actual players behind them. <laughs> The, uh, but yeah, that, that, hopefully the Annie will be a, uh, or not Annie, Zoe. The Zoe will be a, a, pl a power player for power. Yeah, definitely deal with the most damage when it comes down to team fights and probably going to get focused the most, to be honest. Yeah, you can already see they're trying to do whatever they can to make sure that they don't have any wards in the mid lane. You know, that Nocturne was trying to go in for the, and the Darius is up in the top. Yeah. So I'd be trying to go underneath the tower, maybe? Yeah, I'm not sure. I've, I've been watching yeah, him a little bit. <laughs> as the Zoe went through the mid lane, he's definitely targeting the Zoe. Oh, and as Dragon. Ooh, Kindred oh. almost got the Dragon there, and Jinx also tried to ulti on the Dragon, but just both of them just didn't quite, didn't quite get there. Just a second off. Nocturne and diving onto Kindred. In the mid lane. Oh, is that what Nocturne does? died. And Kindred goes down once his ult. So that was a pretty huge fight for Sam. And Jinx is pushing onto that tower, but she really needs to look out. And what was she doing? Into the tower, suicides into the tower to deny gold to the, oh, right. the vein. And I see. Didn't quite see a That's... chance of, of getting away from that one. All right, that makes more yeah. sense. I'm like, what are you doing back there? There's no... <laughs> yeah, if if, if, uh, if Jinx had ran, then the vein would have gotten a lot. And Mark on the Ari again. Oh, and then Mark went away. Yep. It's uh, right now a lot of... Uh, Saint. Saint here has a, a lot of wards everywhere they're right. they're just covering the map right now garen just barely getting away from that darius and top lane there and then we see a push up from jungle with vane and nautilus making their way to mid lane probably to kill the zoe and zoe's just now gonna spot them gets to sleep on the vane Ooh, caught in by that nautilus oh but that nautilus hook yeah, Nautilus Hook is, uh, hmm. <laughs> I don't know if you can get away from that. Nope. I'm gonna throw out some chompers here to keep them from pushing in any farther than they'd... I mean, you, you got the you got the mine chompers, and then you have, you know, the wolfy chompers from, uh, oh, from Kindred, which that, is just my favorite character right now. I think that Nocturne is trying to look for a pick... Waiting for somebody to get low and then go with. Yeah, he was just spotted by the ward, which I'm hoping Park wasn't focused too much on. And, yep, Nocturne was able to dive in. As soon as the turret in. went down, yep. Ooh, Jinx almost getting that kill on Nocturne, oh, not oh. able to do enough damage with the ulti. And Darius taking out Garen there. I didn't quite see the slam dunk, but I feel like oh, there was a, one. A, more, a root from the Morgana onto the Ari. But Kindred and Garen did go down, as well as the Jinx. And I'm going to put some pressure here on the second, on the tier two. Is everything looking uh, good in chat, Vince? I don't have it open because <laughs> yeah, my there's... thing is my thing is messed up a little bit. Yeah, people are people are excited. They're they're loving the game. I think. Ah, uh, good, good. Glad you're all here today, even though it's all snowy and horrible here, at least in Kansas City wise. Uh, good game so far. Nautilus misses the hook on the Zoe. We're still on a 2-14 to 14 in terms of kills here with a pretty significant gold gap. It wasn't so much in the early game, but now St. Mary's really picking it up here. Really getting aggressive, and Park isn't able to respond too much to that. 
Yeah, I think they're not gonna have to fight with a kindred ult for to get enough of an advantage. They need a really good kindred to really make this work. Yeah, they also really need to get some some picks going. But I still think Park, at least in terms of like a uh, like CC team fight, I think Park will win that. But they, it's just a matter of just not getting caught out in jungles exactly. or in their own lanes. Yeah. So we'll also, see. Um, there there's about two thousand gold on the map as far as like shutdown bounties. So that would also be a good way to help start closing that gold gap if they can get on high value target. Park's going to find both Nautilus and Darius up in their jungle with Vayne coming in from behind along with Ari. Yeah, they need to be really Mid. careful here. They, do, they don't get collapsed on. Yeah. It's all about positioning right now. <laughs> there are wards everywhere right now. Oh, and Nautilus is uh, doing some work on the bot lane tower and summoned... When did he get the Rift Herald? I didn't notice it either. It must have been during their fight or something. Huh. And St. Mary now going in for the Ocean Drake that we uh, talked about earlier. Going to be taking him out. Yeah, and they're going to get it. There's no way Park can contest it in time. I'm waiting for like that that moment of like, oh, I feel like they're gonna take it, and then just Jinx ulting in that direction and stealing it. That would be amazing. Yeah, I should use it just a, a little bit earlier on that Rift Herald though. Oh, I see, okay. Yep, so St. Mary is just trying to keep all the lanes pushed in, and Ari here might be caught. Let's see if she can get away. Her yeah. ult is down, or she just used it. And Morgana was unable to land the snare there, otherwise it, it would have spelled absolute doom. Ooh, Kindred almost taking out, uh, getting taken out by the minions there. The Winions. Right. And now we see yep. Vayne and Nautilus hiding in a bush, hoping to might catch be, Garen. Might be looking to get that Garen out. Yeah, you know, Garen's pretty tasty. He has a lot of gold in his pockets. It looks like Zoe and Jinx are uh, looking to do some jungle clearing to make sure that no one's sneaking around, which uh, Darius is now going to kind of back off up there. Probably a Park smart idea. Just dropped a ward in Baron, but that Darius, I, I don't know if he saw them. They like walked right past each other, but they may not have been able to see. Yeah, I, I, I think they just didn't see each other, really, and it was just perfect timing. Are right, we missing her charm there in the bot lane? Ooh. Getting rooted. Oh, that's that's a dead Ari right there. Oh, that's yeah. that shutdown gold I was talking about. It's exactly the gold that they needed, and that Jinx really, really needed some gold right now. And got a good punch in the face for that Ari. Sorry about that, same Mary players <laughs> that are out there. Alright. Looks like St. Mary's going to reset. And Park's just trying to clear waves, keep them pushed out, and not try not to get caught out. Darius moving into jungle again. He's he's just he's just being a little sneaky. Ooh. Now we're seeing the teams get together. Garen getting uh Getting a little caught there. But Nautilus hooks onto Zoe instead with Nocturne diving in and taking her out. Bane then picking up the Garen and then Kindred is next, but activating ulti. Yeah, Kindred just kind of walked into that there. Kinda. I'm not sure if Kindred thought she could take on all four at once. It's definitely... Might have been trying to save them with the ult and it was just a little too soon. Yeah, just just a little bit. And it looks like St. Mary is going to go for the Baron. So the Baron buff, for those of you who are new to League, that gives you a significant damage bonus, as well as whenever you're near your allied minions, it empowers them and makes them uh, very strong. It's like, a, uh, it's like an instant gym day membership for the minion. And then right there, as soon as it goes down, Jinx used... Uh... 
used her ulti there and just a bit too late on that. It was a good try though. Yeah, always a good try. I mean, if there's I mean, once you realize, huh, where did the other teams go? That's that's a good time to use it. All right, Nautilus here using his Oracle Lens to try and de-ward and then dropping his own. And then right as he leaves, they ward where he used to. That's kind of funny. <laughs> well, actually, I uh, believe he, he put a ward in one of the bushes, but uh, are you talking about the mid lane bush? The mid lane bush. Ah, I see. Yep, which I think is actually going to help out Zoe here if she continues pushing mid lane, which looks like she's going to back off now, which is definitely a smart idea as the teams are coming back again down here by uh, mid lane. Now moving down to bottom jungle. Those purple minions that you see, those are the Baron buffed minions. So those are the minions that they use the Baron buff on us to make. Okay, Park is aware that there are people sneaking around there in the jungle, and Zoe getting caught by Nautilus Hook. But are... teleporting away just in time. And she will eventually go down, but she got a lot more spells off than she would have normally got. And the Nocturne ult going in and chasing everybody down. Yeah, that Nocturne ult is very scary. Able to pick up Morgana there. Jinx going down to Vayne. And then Garen just diving on in, hoping to save. Unable to do so. Getting taken down by Vayne once more. Yeah, this is not looking too particularly good. I think St. Mary will be able to go for the win here. Because um, there's still about 15, 13 seconds until uh, Zoe is respawned. She won't be able to do much. Yeah, they'll be able to get the Nexus in time for that. Oh, yeah. All and right. that will complete and it. And St. Mary is going to take game two and take the whole series with it. Congratulations to St. Mary there for taking the series. and Yeah, really, really good fights there. Yeah. In the beginning, it was uh, pretty strong for Park. Uh, but it looks like they were uh, St. Mary was able to come out on top with that in terms of their team fight. As soon as that Nocturne hit level 6, like you said, it, that's where that's where things started to get a bit dicey, and he was able to push in on that. So, good fights. And uh, anything we want to add in here? Want to take any questions or anything like that? Um, I've been watching the chat. I haven't seen any questions, really. Um, well, there was one I saw earlier that I already answered, but... Uh... Anyway, so, yeah, if you have any other questions, feel free to ask them in the chat. I'll watch them here for a few minutes, and I'll answer you if I can. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching the game today, guys. Um, there will be another one next week, I believe. So if you want to watch the next game of the season, it will be next Saturday. So Or next Saturday at 3, unless there's a scheduling change. Right. Well, we'll let you know via the park communication as well as uh, as long as you subscribe to the YouTube channel. You will receive those notifications as well by clicking the bell icon. And uh, for right now, um, I've also just enabled uh, Wade Tripp's link to the Park University uh, esports Discord channel. Uh, so that should be now showing up in chat up at the kind of just a little bit above the top part of it. Um, I, I missed it earlier, so I didn't click on show. So that was my bad on that part. Um, but all right, guys, I'm going to leave it down to some music here and uh, hope you all enjoy your weekend. And we'd like to thank all of you guys for coming out and supporting esports and just kind of getting involved. And it's a very exciting time. So uh, this is kind of a new deal, especially for parks. So, you know, thanks for showing your support. Yes, thank you guys very much, and I hope you all have a good day. And Vince, I will see you next week, sir. All right. Have a good one.